All right, beautiful people. I am back. And I just got my friend out of jail. I got it. Um, this is going to be a debut. Nobody's ever done a video on this one particular... No, I'm just kidding. Um, there's like thousands of videos of this bad boy on YouTube currently. And there's a great reason why. Um, I do want to say that I have the magazines outside of the actual box and the firearm in the box because these magazines are fully loaded with live ammunition. And what I'm going to do is I am going to show you the magazines by themselves and then take them out of the picture and then go over the firearm itself separately because what I want to do is I want to go ahead and separate my workspaces. I want to keep the ammo aside and I want to be able to use the firearm as it is intended on a video um, without any ammo within the workspace. So what I do want to tell you is that you do get within this, at least what I got, um, is three magazines. So you have one magazine that is a 17 rounder double stack typical glock magazine and then you get two 17 plus two magazines so that is 19 with a nice beautiful pinky extension down here um that honestly i don't use uh my 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 hand's not a mammoth hand i don't have a grand hand like some people do um my hand fits perfectly on the pistol frame without the needed extension but this is cool uh it's it's pretty cool little new thing that glock is doing uh as stock now these have been available for years now uh, i want to say <laughs> for a very long time but it's something cool glock is doing for their stock magazines you don't have to pay extra it comes with everything and uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move these magazines away from the workspace and I'm going to go ahead and show you what else comes. This is the plus one um, comes in the mat in the box. All right. I did pick up a Safari Land holster for the Glock 19X. Technically, it kind of came with it. Uh, I got a pretty banging deal that is not typical but here she is in all its fine glory the glock 19 x this one is safe 100 percent safe there are no bullets anywhere to be found this one is as you could tell made in austria There are some floating around that state that they were made in the United States, the USA. Uh, I had an opportunity to pick one up, but I did not. I have heard that there has been a little bit of, and I'm not saying this is hearsay. This is stuff I've read on the internet, but there has been some small quality control issues coming from the United States plant. I'm not saying it's happening to a lot because this is a vastly popular gun. Uh, when I did check in, I think like the first couple of months, they sold 100,000 of these. And for something that people were saying they did not want, a heck of a lot of people wanted it. A heck of a lot of people got it. And right now in stores, it's hit or miss. Uh, one of my local gun stores, I put this one on layaway because they have a great layaway program. I, I live close to a place called Green Top. I'm going to shout them out real quick because they have, I mean, massively hooked me up. Um, not for free, not anything for free or at a discount, but I'm saying they hook their customers up by doing a 90-day, 20% down that day, interest-free layaway program with anything in the store, a bag of peanuts, whatever you want to put on layaway. I mean, it is an amazing way 
of being able to put money aside through them until you could basically pay for the gun without charging interest or anything. So it's an amazing, amazing program. Uh, if you do not fulfill the 90 day program, depending on how much you do have towards it, uh, they will take 10% from what you put down the 20% that you put down because they could have sold that gun during that time. Um, but that's if you decide not to get the gun. Uh, I did put 20% down on this firearm on a sale, which was beautiful. Uh, the sale was, I, th I believe this thing was $5.99 during the sale. So it came out to like $630 some odd dollars all together with everything. But instead I found a better deal. One of my buddies wanted to get rid of it. So he sold it to me. We did an F F FFL transfer for 40 bucks. So all together, I believe I paid less for this than I would have in the store. Um, I'm not going to say believe. I know I did. So anyways... This is the first ever crossover from Glock. And when I say crossover, I mean that this slide right here is the Glock 19 slide. The slide is 7.44 inches with a barrel of 4.02 inches. And then here we have the Glock 17 pistol. So the Glock 17 with the Glock 19 slot. And what that culminates to is absolute beauty. It is a freaking awesome firearm. Why did I not buy this sooner? I'll tell you why. Because I just thought it was going to be a normal gun. I just thought for sure Glock came out with another cookie cutter type of gun and I was gravely mistaken. I jumped on this bandwagon a lot later than I should have. I should not have listened to everybody. I should have gone out, tried it out myself, and it would have been a lot easier for me to get into this. Now, I got a better deal for waiting, um, but... My whole thing is Glock 19 brought me into this game. It brought me into this game a long time ago. Um, I, I fell in love with it and then I had to part way with it and it broke my heart because the Glock that I had, I really didn't utilize in a training aspect as I should have. I just had it for self-protection. I never fired it. I wasn't comfortable with going to the ranges where I lived. I didn't know anybody there, um, and it wasn't until this past May, June, around that time, that I actually got back into this, and I, I found a place where I was super comfortable going, and I, I gained a membership, and I started accumulating a network of friends, and I, I've met some of the most astounding people that I've ever met in my entire life, all through firearms, and now it's come full circle. <laughs> Um, now I'm sorry, my nose is super stuffy today. Um, weather's changing here in Virginia, which means there's mold and all this great stuff in the air. Um, it's cold at night, warmer in the day. It's crazy. So my nose doesn't know what to do, but anyways, um, yeah, so it's come full circle. Now, does that mean this is the end? No, <laughs> barring any crazy things happening the thing that what i plan on doing currently is i've purchased this and i'd like to purchase an ar pistol um and then after i purchase the ar pistol i want to get into the larger calibers so 300 blackout 308 and 6.5 grindle um and i i plan on doing that over a period of time i plan on building out an ar pistol I plan on adding a 300 blackout to that pistol and then buying long range after that. Uh, what I, I really, really want to learn how to shoot long distances. I'm very good with the AR platform currently out to about 50. I haven't hit 100 yards because everything I do right now is short range indoor shooting. Uh, I found a couple of friends that were, were doing a little bit of stuff 
in the uh, outdoor range, but I haven't utilized AR platforms in the outdoor range. It's only been handguns. I plan on getting vastly better with my handgun game because that is where I am the weakest. Um, is in the handgun area plus utilizing a sling with an AR platform uh, and doing kind of like drills and stuff like that. But anyways, back to the Glock 19X. So you get four of these beautiful back grips, um, you know, little things that go down here. Um, I've never utilized any of these and it may change my game, but honestly, this thing comes just absolutely stunning as is. Uh, it fits my hand. I feel great. It feels comfortable. It feels amazing. It is fantastic. Now, some things that have changed on this. Now, as you can see, if you have eyes, if not, and you're unfortunately um, visibly impaired, I do want to tell you that this is the first ever Coyote Brown colored slide and frame that Glock produced factory. Um, I don't know what they, why they changed it. Actually, it might have something to do with them trying to get the contract with the military um, for Middle East action or places that have a lot of sand. Um, but anyways, they did remove the finger grooves. I had, I believe it was a Gen 4 G19. I can't remember if it had finger grooves or not. I do remember holding a couple of Glocks that did have finger grooves. And I mean, it didn't really bother me too much. When I did buy my Glock 19 the first time, I thought it would be cool to throw on one of those beautiful ho grips. And it did make it feel better during that time when I was a young college kid. Uh, with my undergrad degree, I believe it. Yeah, I think I was going through my associate's degree. So, it, I mean, it doesn't hurt putting it on, but honestly, I don't think it helps me either. So, I'm going to leave it off of this one. Um, It does have the Ambi slide release. So, the slide release is on both sides, which is cool. Um, the, there is an approved slide coating that comes on this with a high cor corrosion resistance. So basically what that means is I think I'd be chill with going through Costa Rica or, um, I, I don't know, the Amazon and it being pretty resistant to corro uh, corrosions. Uh, or corrosion. It does have a beveled front slide in front of the frame. So, I don't even know what that means. I'm going to be honest with you. It does have standard metal night sights. This is something that's different. Y'all can't tell because it is light, out, uh, light here. But, the front sights and back sights are different from typical Glocks. I don't have one to show you, but a typical Glock does have that little like connected almost U or whatever. This one is not like a typical one. This is like what you would put on your Glock after you got fed up with the sights. And I will say also that even at dusk, this thing starts cutting on like, like the, it just starts glowing. I walked outside today at about 6 a.m. And at like around 0600 to probably about 7, 0700, um, Virginia currently, it is a little dark outside, but not bad. Like the sun is coming up and all that. And I mean, the, like I looked down on my hip and saw it glowing. It was beautiful. Um, it does come with a different barrel. Um, so the barrel is like, I know it is dirty. I haven't cleaned it from my buddy, 
but let me see if I can get this bad boy out. If you could tell, let me see. Yeah, you can see it. So it has this thing called Enhanced Hexagonal Profile with Right Hand Twist. Now, all that means, or all, all of that, I don't know what it means, to be honest with you. But what I do know is that this is a Glock Marksman barrel. It is the barrel that most people want to take out or want to replace for their stock Glock pistol. You're getting all of this stuff within the Glock 19 itself. The 19X, excuse me. Um, and the trigger pull, let me tell you about this trigger pull. All right, you ready? Pull, pull, pull. You got the wall. I mean, that was like nothing too. Got the wall. Bam. Then we're going. Reset. Ah, that's smooth. Again. Reset. God, that's nice. And even, you know, here, pull, pull, pull. It's like the wall is defined right there. And as if you use Glocks a lot, um, you do know that a Glock gets better with age. It is like a fine, fine wine. These things, after 1,000 to 2,000 rounds are put through it, the trigger just gets beautiful. Um, I'm toying with the idea of making some changes internally with this, but I don't think I'm going to. I do want to go ahead and get the slide mill for a Trijicon RMR possibly. And then after that, the only thing I might do is possibly do something right here. I'm not going to say what, but I'm sure you guys can figure it out, especially down in those comments. So let's get to some specs. So the overall length of the, um, of the Glock 19X is going to be 7.44 inches. We're going to come in at a height of 5.47 inches. Now, what does that mean? Um, that basically means that although it's not impossible, it's going to be a little harder to conceal carry. With winter and fall coming up here shortly, or fall and winter, I am going to start conceal carrying this possibly later on. Um, but this is going to be my new daily carry. This is going to be my new daily carry. I'm replacing the... Hellcat, Springfield Hellcat OSP and FDE, I'm replacing that with the Glock 19X. The main reason being, I love this gun. I love how it shoots. I love what it shoots. I love the trigger. I love the dependability that Glock stands for. I mean, Glock is per perfection. Glock equals perfection. Um, that is their motto for a reason. Glock is tested Thoroughly, um, it has been in the military. It has been in the hands of you know, police officers. It has been in the hands of many civilians that have used these for years. And I can honestly tell you that this is probably the most dependable handgun you can ever buy. In in many people's opinion. That is not something that is just like my opinion or, you know, he said, she said type of opinion. That is a very, very overwhelming consensus within this two Second Amendment community. Um, Glock is a very, very, very dependable uh, weapon. Um, and if you are trying to fight for your life, the one thing that a lot of people might will agree on is a Glock is one of the high, higher contenders for being the weapon that you would choose to fight for your life um, that you carry on a normal day basis. The width of this bad boy is 1.30 inches, so it's not too big at all. It does fit just perfectly into your hands, and it's just, oh, God, I love 
those things. Sometimes I just see myself, you know, just like going, going somewhere and just like holding it and dry firing with my Mantis or, or whatever, man. I just love this thing. Um, the weight of it is about 24.83 ounces with a 5.8 pound trigger pull. Like I said, the barrel is an enhanced hexagonal profile with right hand twist. All of that stuff is very, very confusing to me. I don't know what that means. I guess the twist goes to the right and it's hexagonal. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, if anybody wants to go ahead and explain that in the comments, man, have at it. I know I could have copied and pasted something, but I'm trying to be real with you guys. You know, I look at specs. I I see what I I I I like. Um, I point out the obvious and I pull the trigger. That's about where you know my expertise is. Now, could I do an in depth look into you know um, enhanced hexagonal profiles with a right hand twist barrel? Yeah, absolutely. But I I just want to give you guys the real. Um, so I mean, the real is this is an awesome awesome gun this is kicking my springfield hellcat right out the door uh that gun will probably now live within my safe for a while until she comes out to play in the summertime once again um the overall length of everything is 9.84 inches um and that's I believe that's between the sights. No, that can't be right. Maybe it's, oh, it's from, from sight to here. It's possibly 9.84 inches. I don't know. I wrote that down somewhere. Um, and like I said, the mag capacity is 17. One 17 round magazine that fits flush into the gun. And then you have two 19 round magazines that come with this. Um... I mean, they did it right this time. I am going to be honest with you. Um, Glock did a fantastic job with this. This is a firearm that many thought we didn't need until we shot it. Uh, a longer pistol with a shorter slide is something that I thought, you know, like, mm, I mean, it makes sense. But when you think about concealed carry, and you think about like everyday practicality, is that actually practical? Now, what they are going towards right now is that compact crap, where it's like the P365, the, um, the GX4, the Hellcat, the, um, what else is there? Uh, Kimber just came out with one that's just like tiny, but it's got a bark to it. Whereas when you shoot these, when I shot the Smith with a ported barrel and a ported slide, I felt like I was shooting a 22, and that is a 9 millimeter. And these things are have stopping power that's way outside the realms of a 22. So, I mean, take it as you wish. I think that Glock did a fantastic job. Now, do I want to see something different from Glock? Absolutely. I would love to see a Glock AR-15. Dude, do you know how sweet that would be? Um, I would totally buy one, uh, or a pistol AR-15, something along those lines, but this is a fantastic gun. Do not look down on this. If you find one at a local gun store and you're deciding what your new carry gun should be, or you're deciding what you want to use to protect yourself in the house, don't count the Glock 19X out. Glock is there for dependability. It is an easy gun to shoot. It is a point and shoot type of gun. It is great for beginners, intermediate and advanced marksmanship. It is a phenomenal gun. The accessories for Glock are out there. Now, what I think of the accessories, in my opinion, is that there's really no need to do too much to a Glock. The, the main thing you need to do, and I tried to drill this into people's heads, is, is to go train, buy ammo, 
Go get classes. Learn from somebody who knows what they're talking about instead of trying to do all of it yourself. Um, that's where I am now at. I am proficient in shooting. Uh, I am proficient in pulling a trigger. How about that? Where the bullet goes is usually a nice little spread of about your palm. Um, but I want to get smaller than a palm. I want like, I want like, you know, bang, 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 right? Cha. Um, so I mean, that's why I'm going to other people who know and have been doing this and teach people who do this on the daily, how, how to get that, that to that level. And mainly what a lot of them tell me is fundamentals and rounds. And that's just duh. Fundamentals and rounds. So what do I utilize if I can't get to the range every day? I use the, the Mantis X10 Elite. Um, I push that product because it's the best $250 I've ever spent in my life. It, it literally paid for itself the night it came home because I put so many dry fire drills through the ringer the day I got it. And if you count all of those up to like, you know... 10, 15, 30 cents per pull of the trigger, um, it, it'll pay for itself within a week at the most. Because that's all I thought about coming home to the first couple days I had the, the Mantis. And it fits any gun that has an accessory rail like such or a Picatinny rail up here. Um, if it cannot fit that, it has adap adapters that go on to the magazine or the, uh, it has a bunch of stuff. Luckily, I don't have to figure that out. Um, But yeah, I mean, you want to see the inside one more time, maybe. Um, It's just a typical Glock. There's nothing. I mean, this is a Glock 19 right here, a dirty one, albeit. And then down here, I mean, could I do some things different absolutely i can i mean you could polish the trigger you could get a new i think it's called like a connector bar or something like that um you could get a whole new trigger mechanism if you wanted to apex does a great job i believe i think it's like pronounced trimony um they have a competition trigger that only weighs like three pounds or 2.5 pounds uh, trigger pull and those are great for competition and stuff like that would i throw that into my glock 34 and go ahead and go to a competition yeah probably i would um shane coley or yeah coley um uses that trigger for the most part or endorsed it at least uh i don't know what he uses i didn't ask him the last time i i i met with him um but he's the one that got me back into this. I'm going to be honest. I didn't think I was going to buy another Glock until I went and saw him shoot uh, at my local gun store. We had an awesome breakfast. Uh, he answered our questions about competition shooting and all that good stuff. And basically broke out his Glock 34 and started shooting. He uses a Glock that shoots 40 caliber for mostly for competition uh, i think it's like the 24 or something like that i i don't know i don't know all the glocks but the the cool thing is is that dude can not only shoot but he showed me that people still make mistakes on his level um it's really cool to see how they train how proficient he is um that he still gets nervous in front of people it's it's really cool to see. Uh, but yeah, this is the Glock 19X. This is a fantastic gun. One that's going to be thoroughly cleaned here shortly. And now, thankfully, it's back in my possession. The life is coming full circle. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean this bad boy after this video. And then what I really, really, really want to do is I might bring you the Daniel Defense. Um, that I have here, uh, DDM4V7, I want to say, um, it is the 16 inch version and it's fantastic. Daniel, Daniel and Glock both know what they're doing in, in their 
respective margins. So Daniel in ARs and Glock in pistols. Um, uh, first time I ever shot at Daniel, I think I, I smiled to myself. I, I love my Ruger. I love what I've done to my Ruger. But the Daniel defense that I have here currently or whatever and that my buddy shoots is just absolutely I sorry I put it on I was trying to make it to the video but um I I'm new to firearms like I keep on saying and um there is something about a Daniel that when you pull the charging handle back it's just so smooth and the bolt carrier group is just so smooth and Although it's mil spec, that trigger is not bad. It's not the greatest. I would drop a, a Geisley in that bad boy. And that, their warranty programs, their, their barrels, their everything in that gun is well worth, unfortunately, the money they're charging currently. Um, I wish I got into this game five, six, seven years before so I could buy it. Daniel Defense for seven, eight, nine, you know, one thousand dollars, and a Glock for five hundred, four hundred dollars. Um, I just wish I did, but I didn't. Now they they charged it, people paid for it, and now they're probably not going to go down in price for a while, if ever again. Um, Daniel does a great job with warranties. So does Glock. So does Ruger's. I mean, most of these guns, as long as you're not modifying the F out of them and, you know, the, they're, they broke because of QA standards or they broke because of what the firearm should have done, didn't do. Um, most of these manufacturers understand that you are paying for something that is going to possibly protect your life. They're going to fix it for you. And usually turnaround time is not bad at all. Everybody I've ever talked to that has had a problem with their um, their weapon has had a pretty good interaction. There are a select few that I'm like, well, what did you do to deserve that? Uh, but yeah, man, this is the Glock 19X. This is something that I thought is kind of like a duh type of thing or... You know, why would you ever do that? That turned into a holy mother of God. I love this gun. So until next time, fellas and ladies, stay safe, stay happy, and stay sane. This is Neural Nomad. Later, guys.